Hi there, Jamie Good tasting wine on camera. And I've got a really interesting wine to share with you right now. This is a Chardonnay from California. Now often California Chardonnays are known for being rich, over the top, buttery, oaky, and overripe. But this is the um, Chardonnay, it's at the Ojai Vineyard, and it's the Bien Nacido Vineyard Chardonnay in Santa Maria Valley from 2017. So we're looking here at a vineyard area which is near Santa Barbara, which is kind of quite south, you know, in terms of California. It's, it's just above Los Angeles and uh, a fair whack below um, Napa and Sonoma. Um, and you'd expect it to be warmer, but because of the way the valleys focus here, this wine region just inside Santa Barbara, um, it's actually quite cool. And um, this um, vineyard, um, it's a very famous vineyard, the Bienna Cida Vineyard, planted in 1973. And obviously some of it was kind of planted a bit later. And Adam Tolmack of Ojai has been um, working with this vineyard since 1988. Um, he's been making wine for a while, long time. Um, and of late, the, the Ojai wines have become known for uh, comparative restraint and balance. They've been part of the MPC Balance Movement, which is a really nice association of, of um, Californian and wineries who are looking to make wines that are a little bit more focused and balanced and not so over the top. So what's it like? There's some richness there. There's a there's a there's a kind of the underlying sentiment that the, the is is this this the drive behind this wine is sort of ripe pear, white peach fruit, some spice. Um, it's it's got this tendency to go rich and ripe. But alongside that, that rich, ripe fruit with the nuttiness and a slight touch of honey and nectarine, there's also some, some focus and freshness. There's some citrus and it's, it's a little bit grainy and, and textural. It's a really interesting wine. I don't think you'd mistake this for Burgundy. This is 2017 vintage, so it's not an old wine, but it's got some flavours that make you think it's a little bit older than actually it really is. So there's that, that one side of the wine that's, that's gone big and, and, and expansive, and this other side that's saying, just hold back a little now. It's the, it's, it's the yin, yin and yang, yin, yin and yang. It's the, the, the richness and the, the restraint. And you can sense this in this wine. It's trying to go big, but it's also trying not to go too big. And overall, quite a nice savory tension, you know, underneath all the fruit. So it's a really a lovely wine, a thought-provoking, thought complex Chardonnay from a, a state that isn't always associated with producing thought-provoking, complex Chardonnays. So I really like it. This wine is growing on me the more I, the more I try it. Yeah, this is a hit. Thanks for watching.